Well hello, welcome back to Merlin. This uh, vlog is all about the trials and tribulations that we had uh, yesterday. You may have seen from the previous vlog, uh, which was last Friday, um, that we had to abort our wild camp out to um, Lynn Fenny Fack. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, we had a great day there, a lovely walk up to the lake and got the drone out, flew that around. Um, really, really nice, but so cold. Then we got back to, uh, to Merlin and uh, then we headed off to try and find uh, somewhere where we could wild camp. Well, we, we knew a place where we could, so we were heading there and uh, we found that we had a problem. We had no electric, no 12 volt electric. Uh, I'll show you the uh, the control panel in a moment, what was happening. Um, but basically, we had no heating, no lighting. We could use the cooker, um, but we decided that we better have bought the visit because it was minus five degrees, um, completely dark where we were. Uh, I did have a little torch, but that uh, wouldn't have been enough really. Uh, no water, obviously, no pumping water. So uh, we were a bit snookered. So we decided that uh, all things considered, we weren't that far from home. So we traveled home. And today is the next, this is the next morning. Um, I'm just about to set, set to and try and find out uh, what happened. Because when we set off, everything was fine. Um, but as soon as we got to where we were going to wild camp uh, the fridge kept beeping as if there was no electric to it and uh, no lighting so uh, it was going to be a problem obviously no heating either so this vlog is about trying to find out what went wrong and uh, stopped us in our tracks so this is what is uh, happening or not happening Press the, well, I don't know if you saw the, the green light flashed once, but it went straight off again. You do get the occasional beep. Yeah, the green light on the gas thing flashed again. I don't know what that's significant of. Some beeping going on. But yeah press anything it's completely dead it's almost as if there is no battery connected but the uh, the fuses that I could get at quite easily uh, were all okay they're the ones under the dinette table um, in the consumer box they were all fine I checked those so the investigation continues the difficult thing to understand is that when you look at the app, uh, both batteries are showing 100%, uh, but the output voltage doesn't seem to match that. Right, here I am in the battery box, been doing a little bit of checking, I've uh, been using my multimeter to check a few things. Uh, there's some some of the original fuses from uh, from the eldest installation uh, they're all okay so there's no issues there the additional things that I've put in obviously the batteries but circuit breakers they're all fine uh, there's no loose connections every, everything's fine um, but there's still no discharge output from the from the batteries so I suspect that maybe we've got some sort of issue with, uh, with the app uh, that controls them. So that's what I'm going to be looking at next. Right, well, uh, I made a phone call to the, um, the supplier where I got the batteries from. Very, very helpful. Um, I think he must have had this problem before. It seems uh, that the issue and uh, while I'm talking to you, I'll put uh, a screen dump of, uh, of the particular page in the app. It seems like the um, default settings for 
uh, low temperature discharge and in fact charge as well are set to zero. Um, as I think I explained, it was incredibly cold that day and uh, I think it had triggered the, uh, the protection of the batteries. Um, but the guy explained to me that it's perfectly um, fine to change that setting and he suggested I change it to minus 20. Um, I think if we get more than uh, minus 20 that uh, we won't be out in that anyway because <laughs> that's damn cold. So um, yes, I've changed those. One of the additional um, issues that uh, I think caused part of the problem is that uh, one of the batteries obviously stopped working before the other one. So there's a bit of a mismatch now. One of them is uh, a lot lower than the other. So I've got to charge them up until, until they're, they're equal. But after that, everything should be okay. Just need to test it on a few things. I've checked the inverter um, and that's all working fine. So yeah, we're good to go again. Obviously it's a, a bit of a shame that we didn't know this when we were away because I, I could have changed those settings in the app there and then and hopefully got us back on track pretty quickly and we, we needn't have aborted our visit, um, which, which as you know we had to do, we, we couldn't stay away that night. But uh, hey ho, there'll be other times. As you can see now, when I power it on, on it comes. Uh, the water level and the battery level, everything works now. It's all fine. Anyway, to conclude, thanks very much for watching this vlog. I hope you found it uh, interesting. But it's interesting to think that if you've got, um, if anyone out there has got uh, lithium batteries that are controlled from an app, and you're going away in the depths of winter, it might be worth looking at the default settings because that's really what caused our problem. And uh, you might want to override those settings. But do check with the manufacturer first. Uh, don't take my word for it. Um, as I say, it was the manufacturer, uh, their support team was very, very helpful. It was their support team that said to, to change those settings. And, um, and maybe you need to do yours as well if you've got lithium batteries. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. See you on the next one.